Hello there, this is Magenta Pixie speaking. I would like to read out to you a post that I wrote up on my uh, social mo media today in response to a friend of mine who had written a post about um, people taking liberties on her social media and overstepping her boundaries. So this is what I wrote in response. All leaders of the positively polarised faction will be targeted and at times aggressively. I'm just going to explain that one statement because it is a bit of a sweeping statement. What I mean by this is all leaders of the positively polarised faction, as in the service to others vibrational movement, will be targeted. However, this may not necessarily be perceived as a target or as an attack by some of the spiritual leaders and teachers. So they won't see it as that and they will act accordingly. Therefore, for those individuals, they neutralise that target or that attack. So they're not necessarily targeted or attacked. However, that attack is there towards that movement as part of the inverted system that is um, moving at this time, trying to establish itself so that it can go forward into this artificial intelligence um, timeline. So I will continue. I just wanted to explain that one sentence. All leaders of the positively polarised faction will be targeted and at times aggressively. This targeting comes from those who are aware of what they are doing and those who are not. The first group are simply fulfilling their roles as they aim to polarise within the negative and or serve those who are already negatively polarised. Or there are those coerced, manipulated or bribed who do the bidding of the Dark Masters as minions for that structure. They are as sharks looking for food. Seeing them as such, sharks looking for food, will assist with our ability to activate balanced boundaries. The second type are those that are triggered by information that they are resonating with as truth, but simultaneously they are unable to accept and integrate that truth. Instead of expansion taking place, they experience cognitive dissonance. The only way they can reorient themselves to their own self-created paradigm is to see the source of the cognitive dissonance trigger as a personal attack that they must then defend. They do this aggressively for they feel they are defending a paradigm that will destroy them should it be shattered. Yet the ascension and awakening path they so crave and call to themselves is, in and of itself, paradigm shattering. In both situations, our boundaries are called upon and we bring them down with firm and loving action or up, as the case may be, depending on the way you perceive and visualise. We hold compassion for those who struggle with the awakening to truth process, but simultaneously, we do not allow ourselves to be attacked, abused or maligned. Emerald Flame and Ruby Gemstone Ray. I comment with the Emerald Flame and Ruby Gemstone Ray activations due to the fact that we're in this Easter portal at the moment, this Ostara portal and Lazarene uh, program or Lazarene experience as we go through this rebirth and um, a re-evaluation of who we are and a shedding of the old and the embracing of the new, the emerald flame being heart, compassion, forgiveness and all the energies and emotions that go with that and the ruby gemstone ray being the anchoring into the physical reality and the boundaries. So continuing in this particular um, area or topic, I also wrote another post uh, on my social media today. 
He who you know as Mr Bebop in the novel The Bifurcated Village stands in a shadow top banana position for the overlord structure. Yet from the spiritual viewpoint, the quest presented to humanity through this physically incarnated presentation of Mr Bebop, as in who Mr Bebop is, as in what he stands for, the quest presented to humanity is, does compassion rise within you for another who lived the life of abuser within the negative faction. This, when taken in by the observer, is the reflection of self. The quest is your compassion combined, combined with your boundaries. That is the emerald flame combined with the ruby gemstone ray. When both are anchored, then you have your foundation for balance. So, Whilst from one perspective, you can look at Mr. Bebop in the novel and feel extreme compassion, as in feeling sorry for this overlord character, another individual may not hold that at all. They will see the progression of Mr. Bebop's life and feel that they have created the reality that they find themselves in for themselves and that they still stand as a figurehead for the negative faction or the overlord structure. Both of these are correct within different perspectives. So what I'm being shown here from the nine is the emerald flame as in the heart, the compassion, the forgiveness, the ability to look and feel sorry for another, not in the case of pity, but in the case of compassion, despite that individual having lived the life of the abuser within the negative faction or the overlord structure still feel compassion despite what that individual has done and what that individual has stood for in the past. This is the balance between the emerald flame, the heart and the ruby gemstone ray, the physicality and the grounding and anchoring and the boundaries. If you just bring in the ruby gemstone ray root chakra energy, and combine that with the focus within the third eye um, chakra, brow chakra, and, and, and leave the emerald flame heart aspect out, then you'll find yourself in this um, unbalanced, unactivated indigo energy where you can experience anger and hatred and um, this takes you into the victim savior template and many in the truth community are there because they see forgiveness and compassion as weak and undeserving however if you just hold heart if you just hold compassion and forgiveness this can take you into extreme imbalance in a different way because you can start feeling terribly empathic with this individual who is suffering from um, a cognitive issue uh, that many of our loved ones um, are suffering across the world and have done. So it will trigger that within us and we will feel hurt and um, we will we'll feel we can't cope with the pain that we, that we feel when we see um, a vulnerable individual, if you will, being treated in an uncaring way or an abusive way, we feel we feel sorry for that individual, despite how they've lived, and this triggers this pain within, and we can lose that balance and move into that pain and cry, and then this takes us down into a place where yes, we have compassion, but we don't have the strength and the boundaries and the backbone, the spine the indigo activated flame and the alignment with that to be able to manage and place the compassion. Compassion can be felt without you personally moving into pain within so that it de debilitates you. So one holds both the heart 
the emerald flame and the emerald flame is the enhanced aspect to the heart chakra and in my next video I will be talking about the chakras themselves and uh, what actually occurs when you create within the visual the emerald flame or the emerald gemstone within the heart chakra using the color green and the same with the ruby gemstone ray the root chakra using the color red what happens when that becomes a ruby gemstone ray or a ruby flame if you will Th this is a um activation within that chakra system and this is what will assist you as we move forward um, to be able to perceive from the perspective of the light body and the energetic system rather than the human ego self which is subject to all the emotions and all of the hijacked um, systems and the manipulations that go with that so this is all very important as we move forward and I will be discussing more about the chakras in my next video so these are the two posts that I put up on my social media today thank you very much for listening